chosen ones, my divinely protective, my divinely anointed ones. How y'all doing? Hope all is well. Chosen ones, I'm going to talk about your enemies, okay? All right? And my enemies are along with it. Like I said before, I don't have enemies, meaning that I don't acknowledge them. I don't, I don't give them any type of power or energy no longer. I used to. I don't do that anymore. Because everything is energy, okay? And whatever you focus on, whatever you put your mind on, that's what you're that's where you're sending your energy. So I'm choosing to no longer give them my energy. They can get it from someone else, but it won't be me. It won't be it won't be from a chosen one. Okay? Stop focusing on your enemies. Give them over to God so he can deal with them because he will deal with them. He will always deal with them. But you need to release your hands from them. Chosen ones, your enemies, a lot of your enemies were people that you thought were your family, your friends, people you thought you were really close with, co-workers, neighbors, friends of the family. They turned on you. They switched up or you were forced to walk away. Because of their nasty behavior, because of gossip, because of rumors, for, because of things that they didn't think was going to come back to you, came back to you. And you had no choice but to walk away. You did the right thing. And understand that this is just the beginning. Unless you truly learn to protect your energy, this is just the beginning. And for me, I've learned the hard way. The hard way. I have to really, really, truly protect my energy. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not up for debate or discussion. Mm -mm. the people that you spend your time on they better truly be solid because if they're not solid let me tell you something you are going to regret it a lot because guess what chosen ones we have a big heart we do things with no motives attached we're not in it to win it like we're not here to just be with someone for self gain like that's so low, but that's what people choose to do to us. People choose to target us time and time again because they can see from a mile away that we're different. A lot of the people who are your enemies, whether you know them or not, they know there's something special about you. They know there's something different about you. One of my enemies even knew who I was before I knew who I was. And she constantly told me, oh, you got an anointing on your life. You got something on your life. There's something different about you. There's something about you. I'm saying I had to tap in this, this and that. The whole time this person was a witch. That's how she knew because she couldn't do nothing to me. She couldn't hurt me. She couldn't harm me. Witch. She kept blaming on other people like, oh yeah, my mom used to do it, my sister, my whoever. But it was her. No doubt about it, it probably was the other people, but they probably told her and she was trying to do it against me. And she did it against other people. When you listen to people long enough, they start to tell on themselves. And a lot of people, they know you're chosen because a lot of them be into dark, evil stuff. Like I said, she was a witch and she was probably trying to figure out why she couldn't touch me. Why, even though she put all this stuff, or tried, tried to put these things on my life because she didn't succeed. Why it wasn't succeeding. It's like, oh, she's divinely protected. Hmm. God really got his hand on her life. Hmm. And she became jealous and envious and, and bitter and pissed. And God exposed me to her. And I prayed a specific prayer. And she was removed. Slowly but surely. And it's such a disgusting snake. Because my thing is that I have big, huge intuition. Chosen ones, we have, we have intuition that's out of this world. Okay? And I'm pretty sure her disgusting self was probably wondering, how did she figure me out? Does she have like a, a recorder in here? In my house? Like she's probably paranoid. No, baby. I ain't got nothing in your house. Thank God. God saw your wicked, nasty, disgusting self and what you were trying to do against his daughter, against his chosen one. And he said, okay, let me really expose this demon for what she is. This religious demon that's really a witch. Never really knew his word. Couldn't really quote much from the Bible. Didn't even take the time out to read the entire Bible. But super religious, that Pharisee and Sadducee religious spirit, heavy on this person. But she was also practicing witchcraft, and that's why her life started to go in a downward spiral. And I'm not here to gloat or tear down, but the thing about you being a chosen one, baby, same for me. 
you're dumb to try to go against us. And the thing is, you knew who I was before I even figured out who I was. I just recently discovered who I am. And everything just... Everything just started tying up and making sense. Everything just started tying up and making sense. And the fact that you saw my anointing before I did, and you still tried to play with me? Oh, you gotta be a real dummy. And chosen ones, guess what? There's a lot of dummies. Look, look what happened with Lucifer, how he tried God. God! We're just chosen ones that God chose. But look, look what Lucifer tried to do against Satan. He tried to go, I mean, what, what Lucifer tried to do against God. He tried to go against him. Like, how could you be that dumb? When you know that God knows everything. God knows all your moves, your thoughts, everything. You still going to try to go against this man. So if the devil could be that stupid, trust me. If God could, could get tried in a sense, why can't a chosen one? Why can't a chosen one? You know? The devil tried to tempt Jesus. The son of God. The son of God. So if he can be tempted, if he can be tried, why can't you? Even when people can see from a mile away, a miles away, how bright that light is shining on you. I asked a few of my other friends recently. One of my friends, he said, Amber, you have such a bright aura. Like when you walk in the room, everyone's head is like, who's that? Who that? And it's true. And I was trying to walk in such humble, be humble, because children was more humble. We're not walking around like we just, like we just like, yeah, you know. But that's how people act like, people be acting like that's what we be acting like. Whole time, we, we got the power to walk around, you know, being cocky like, yeah, chosen one here, what's up, what's good? But we don't do that. We know that God's pride comes before the fall. So we try to stay really, really humble. And because we put ourselves in that humble position, we try to, you know, be on that, that, that plain level, that balance level people try to play with us because they like oh she she or he don't even see her worth they're not even popping their collar like that and it's like chill out we could pop our collar we could really stunt on y'all if we wanted to but we choose the humble round because of that people think they could put the pull the wool over our eyes and so we're not going to know that they're a wolf in sheep clothing all of your enemies friends family all that stuff they're wolves in sheep clothing especially the ones who Read the Bible, who pray, who go to church, who do all the stuff. They wolf and sheep clothing. They mistake our humbleness, our meekness as weakness, as dumb. Even though I was humble, even though I, I, I hadn't experienced my spiritual awakening yet, I was still in the 3D realm. God protection was on my life. He like, I know my baby going to wake up. She going to wake up in the, in the divine timing when I want her to wake up. And when she do, oh, Y'all think y'all think she's serious with that block game now? Or she's gonna be really crazy with that block game, that cutoff game, that you never gonna get close to me. And see this religious demon witch was so mad when I removed my energy from that thing. I don't even want to say she, it's a thing, it's an it. Because demons can possess people. Y'all know that. It's a lot of demons walking around here, but we can't really see that they're a demon, but we know about their actions. Especially if you come against God's chosen, God's anointed. Come on now. They're crazy. But the real joke is on them. <laughs> the real joke is on them because when they try you, chosen one, when they try you, and sometimes you're there to experience it, and sometimes you're not, God is going to make their life fall to shambles. Sometimes right away, sometimes it's little by little, little by little. People start to lose their job. People start to, their minds start going a little crazy. They start getting anxiety. They start, you know, feeling lost. He brings confusion at home. Now the spouses, they're arguing. The kids are coming up against you and all that stuff. And you're wondering, what's going on? Oh, yeah, you didn't think about that when you came against that chosen one, huh? You was walking out your door and failed. You went, you went to go start your car and didn't start. Hmm. Didn't think about that when you came against that chosen one, did you? You really thought stuff was going to be sweet. You really thought God was going to turn a blind eye to your wickedness, to your evilness. God never does that. God hates evil and he will repay it every time. Every single solitary time people do wicked, evil things against you. Whether they speak it against you, whether they're trying to do witchcraft, whether they're trying to get other people to get up and gang stalk you, harass you, mock you. You know, they're all going to suffer. 
And it's going to be little by little. And guess what? One of these days, God might allow you to see that what he repaid these people for. And you're going to have that last laugh. Even though we know God tells us not to take pleasure in our enemies' downfall and they're in their pain, trust and believe that satisfaction is still going to be good. Okay? Bon appetit. Because you decided to be wicked and evil and try to come against God's chosen. And that is the dumbest thing you can do. Chosen ones, you are divinely protected. Highly anointed. Nothing can come against you unless God allows it. And even in that, that's a test. And even in that, that person is still going to be punished. But you're going to have a lot, okay? I want to reference a lot of things from the Bible. I didn't used to do that before because in religion, they tell you not to do that. But it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Because look at look at what happened in the Bible. Where even from the beginning of time with Cain and Abel, with Esau and Jacob. Right? How they were siblings. And they, they went up against one another. Envy, jealousy, hatred, murder. Look what happened with King David and Saul. They were cool. They were close. They were boys. They were tight. Saul became jealous. He started seeing David as a threat. Before when David was just a little boy, he didn't really know what he was doing, but he knew he killed Goliath, right? Saul was cool with that. He didn't know who he was. As soon as David started to really get into who he was, he started to really know he was chosen, he was anointed. Oh, Saul was pissed. Saul was truly pissed because he knew that David was going to be his replacement. He was not happy about that. He was not happy about that. He did not like that people loved him just as much or even more than they loved him. They loved David more than they loved him eventually. He, he, he was just not happy that he was going to have to share that crown, that reign with David. He went from loving him to literally hating him. And that's exactly what happened with this demonic witch who pretends to be a Christian, pretends to know God, love God, but the demonic being heart is far from him. Because if you can go from loving a person, loving them, praising them, doing all this stuff, to then you just start to try to tear them down, go against them, just out the blue. just cra That's witchcraft. That's demons. And, it's, and I didn't even realize, but I should have known, this person has so much, just so much negativity, just so much nastiness with them. Watch out for that. When people have so much negativity going on in their life, like it's always something with them, that's not a good sign. And then you also got to see how they deal with it. Because some, thing, some things are out of your circumstances. So I'm not going to say some things are out of your hand. But when you've talked with this person, okay, because that's what most of my so-called friends were using me for to be their damn therapist that they never paid me for it's always something going on because it's something in that in their heart in their spirit that they need to get right with God but they keep blaming it on their circumstances and they don't even have real faith in God because they allow their circumstances to have them tossed and fro like every wave of the wind and we know it says in the book of James that a double a double minded man cannot be trusted if you're easily tossed and fro by every little wave of the wind how God going to use you 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 like what God is a solid rock. God said, on this rock I stand, okay? God is a solid rock. Forget Dwayne Johnson. God is the rock, right? On this solid rock you stand. God is solid. You ain't got to worry about nothing. If you truly love God, you believe in God like you say you do, you shouldn't be worrying about a dag on thing, not one thing. It might be like, oh, you know... But at the end of the day, when you know you've prayed, when you know you've given it to God, that's it. But these Decepticons, these people that come in your life and they claim they love God and they claim, you know, they want to do what's best for you and they all in your corner all that. If you notice, these Decepticons, they worry, they stress, they have anxiety, they talk down on themselves, they're depressed. They're running around in circles in life, no direction. That's not of God. That's fake. So what you think they're going to end up doing to you after a while? Fake, turn on you, switch up, use you, talk about you, gossip, slander. This demonic being, this is how fake that this, this thing was, okay? And I'm telling y'all this, again, not to trash this person, but to warn you, because I'm totally disgusted. This being, which was another red flag, couldn't even find certain passages in the Bible. This, this religious demonic being, okay? And that's why you got to be careful with religion. I'm going to do a separate video on that. 
couldn't even find 1 Corinthians. Struggled. If you say 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, and you you so religious, you've been going to church for years. Why is it that you that it's taking you 30, 45 minutes to find that? And again, I'm not trying to be mean here. I'm just saying, you so religious, right? But you can't find 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. It's taking you 35, 40 minutes to find that. That's fake. Now, the Bible, for those of you who read the Bible, you know it says in there that we start off as babes. Okay, we start off as babes in Christ. So we on milk. But then you have to grow, you have to mature and grow into an adult. And then you, you start to feed on meat. If all you have is milk throughout your whole journey, God can't use you. You ain't mature enough. You still, you still a baby crawling on all fours drinking milk. And that's what this little, you know, even again, this, this demonic being wasn't even on milk. It was a fraud. Their whole life is surrounded by lies. Just think, this thing would lie their pants or make false promises, never could follow through. Lie to almost every person. And these other people probably didn't even wake up to it because she's so good at manipulating and lying. Disgusting. But if you're a babe in Christ, even a babe in Christ can find 1 Corinthians. But this Decepticon couldn't because it's never in the Bible. Evil. When you become mature in Christ and you're on that meat, I'm not saying that you got to rush when somebody say 1 Corinthians. You're like, doo, 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 doo. yeah, I know what it's at. No, sometimes you still might need some time. But if you're in your word like you're supposed to be in your word and you prayed up and you've been saved for over... Six, seven, eight years. I'm sorry. If you've been saved for over six, seven, eight years, it's no excuse. Again, if you're a babe in Christ, you're just starting out the first few weeks, months, first one to maybe five years, okay? And I'm being gracious with that. But one to five years, that's like a babe in Christ. When you're going from, from six years up until like 10, 11, 12, and you're struggling to find scripture like real, real bad, like real bad, that's a red flag. That's a problem. That's a Decepticon. That's exactly what that thing was. And that's why it was so easy for that fake being after a while because that thing started to notice that I I, I knew who I was. It, it, couldn't, it couldn't stand being that jealous fake thing no more. It had, it had to go. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Okay. Say amen. Thank God to get these wicked people out of your life because the thing is I pray and I ask God because this being did not make me feel safe no more. This being starts slipping up with their words. And I start thinking like, what's wrong with this? This thing is off a little bit. So then I start to include God. I didn't just I didn't just lean on my own thoughts. God says, trust in God with, on, with all your heart and lean now on your own understanding. So in my understanding, I was like, oh, this thing is making me feel uncomfortable. Chosen ones, if there's something or some people around you and you feel uncomfortable, you go to God and say, God, is this thing, are these people, are they really of you? Do they mean me any good or do they mean me harm? God, if they mean me good and I'm overthinking, I have anxiety, I'm overthinking, please forgive me. But if not, remove them. If you say that, God, please remove these wicked people from my life and, and, and put out some names and they start to back up, they start doing whatever. They start to back up. They start to feel uneasy. You, They start not texting you like that. They start not calling you no more. They start making up excuses why they can't. Thank God. Thank God. Because God, God heard you. He said, say less, baby. Say less. Because this person been with and I knew it. But I used them to help to build your character so that you know next time to keep yourself even more guarded. Because it's people that appear as angels of light, but they're really angels of darkness. They're evil. They're wicked. And this thing was wicked as hell. And it pretended so good and it used flattery. Be careful of people who use over flattery. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. You're this, you're that. Evil. They're trying to use these words to distract you from the real wicked purpose in your life. A lot of these Decepticons just hold on to your tailcoats because they know God's going to bless you and you with your kind heart, you're going to end up blessing them. Get them out your life because they don't deserve it. They don't deserve God's blessing. They don't, they don't deserve God's anointing. That's why God didn't give it to them. That's why God gave it to you and they mad at you. So they trying to befriend you and hang on to your coattails. By, but at the same time, with their double twisted evil minds, they're praying behind your back, hoping for your dad going down for hoping that you're not going to find out. But the thing about God, baby, he don't play that. And what's in the dark will come to light. Okay, he will expose every evil person, every evil being out here. And religious spirited people are evil. They're wicked. 
They're Pharisees. They're Sadducees. The same ones that nailed Jesus to the cross. They're disgusting. Get them out of your life. They're holding on and hanging on to you so that they can try to get some of your blessings because they know with your big heart you're going to share it with them. Get them out because they don't deserve it. That's why they don't got it. That's why they're angry with you because they feel like, again, with that envious, nasty, disgusting, jealous, evil, witchcraft spirit, why them and not me? Terrible. And this evil, wicked being, they, it knew. It knew that I was removing it from its, from my life. And it was mad. It was trying to watch me from all different type of pages. God was telling me everything in my sleep, in my dreams. I'm very prophetic. And I was trying to run away from it for so long. Very intuitive. Sometimes God speaks to me even when I'm not sleeping. Even when I'm just walking down the road. He talks to me. When I'm in my car, he's talking to me. Checking my mailbox, he's talking to me. And this wicked, evil being thought I wasn't going to find her, Lord. Disgusting self out. God said, get her out your life. You want me to keep exposing her? Keep asking me. And I kept asking me, kept exposing more and more and more of her disgusting self. Because I knew this disgusting thing for over eight years. But this was the first time I got really close to this demon. And that's why God said, uh-uh. Gotta get, gotta get you out of my, my, my baby girl's life. Because it was okay when, when we were like this. But more, once I drew closer to her, God like, mm-mm. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, I'm going to expose this thing for what it is. This demon had problems with everyone it came across. Every single soul it came across. Even down to their, their own spouse. Problems all the time. And she always want to blame everybody else. Oh, it's this person for this person. No, start and look at the man in the mirror like Michael Jackson said, okay? I'm starting with the man in the mirror. But this demon probably couldn't, can't even look in the mirror because that's how wicked and, and nasty it is. Ugly on the inside and out. I don't, I don't even care at this point. Ugly on the inside and out. Just despicable. And you really thought I was going to find you out. And I know that this little disgusting demon probably watching me on here still. Will call me and tell me about suggestions I should do on my YouTube channel and stuff like that. But yet, what you doing with your own damn YouTube channel? Your own miserable, disgusting life. You ain't doing shit. But you want to sit here and tell me about what I need to do. Right? You ain't doing a damn thing good but trying to put curses and, 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 and nasty stuff on people. Just terrible. And sorry y'all for my Lord. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to refrain from saying certain words and stuff like that. But this this thing got me, it got me a little tight because I start I, again, God started exposing this thing to me because I asked him. I said, God, this thing don't make me don't make me feel safe. There's something off. And God said, Yeah. I'll just wait, I'll just wait for you to include me. Because God don't want us to lean on our own understanding, chosen ones. We gotta ask God for wisdom, for protection, for guidance all the time. Not just one time and that's it. Because he's still gonna do it, but God wanna hear from us. So we need to be talking to him every day in prayer, reading the word. God says you have not because you ask not. Ask God everything. I don't care how big, how small. Ask him and watch what he do. God don't play about his. And that's what this this nasty demonic thing thought. But she, she, she got the right one. And she ain't going to never forget me. Because the way God going to do her in and what he been doing. Oh, this is just the beginning, baby. And the crazy part, chosen ones, is that God ain't going to stop there. <laughs> God ain't going to stop there. He like, you asked me to reveal these evil people? Buckle your seatbelts. Because it's a few of them. Okay? And I'm not going to make this too, too much longer. Because I've been on a roll with these tonight. But... Trust me, he going to remove, he going to clear house. Because while he was clearing house from this one demon, it was another, I'm not going to call this one a demon because I don't think she was a demon, but she was a Decepticon. She was a Decepticon. And while I was exposing this demon, she got caught in a crossfire, maybe thinking I was talking about her because she's a Decepticon and pretended to be, mm -hmm, oh, I love you, hey girl, <laughs> using me all the time, using me only for her own problems, really didn't give a damn about my life because she, that person was actually mad because I'm happy and I'm going into my success. But that person, it's not their season yet. So they start to hate on me. So while he was clearing out one, one house, he said, well, I got to clear out this house too. So she was taking offense to me clearing out the demonic one. And again, me, I'm straightforward. Once you know I don't like you, I'm going to stop really communicating with you. I ain't got nothing to say to you because I'm not fake. I'm not a Decepticon. When I don't like you, you're going to know. You're going to feel in your spirit. You're going to feel that switch. You're going to feel that change. And I'm glad that you do because I don't ever want to talk to you. I don't ever want to see you're disgusting. People who cannot be happy for you. People who cannot genuinely just love you for who you are without any other type of in intentions or other things attached. Motives. You know. Because. Because. 
you finally in the house, but they in the apartment, they mad at you. But you was in the apartment too at one point. You mad at me because God's leveling me up. But you're so dumb because I could have took you with me. I, God could allow me to help you to upgrade to a house. But that's the thing. God said, I, 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 I. I'm not going to allow these Decepticons to hang on to your coattails. So I'm going to clear them out. And again, I really, really care for this, 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 this Decepticon. Now the demon witch thing, it was still a barrier there with me, with me and that thing. Even though I opened up, I shared some things. I could tell anybody the stuff I told with her again. There's layers to me. You ain't gonna never get down to that center core unless I allow you to. And that's <laughs> that's kind of dead for a lot of people. Only person that's gonna get to that center core is my husband. That's it. That's it. Everybody else, they're still like level four or five. And see, this little witch maybe thought she was at she was down to my core. Baby girl, please. That's why I was ready to dump you as soon as I fucked them nasty, evil, wicked things that your that your nasty self was doing. I was already ready to get you, put you in a garbage can. I'm ready to dispose of Decepticons and evil and nasty, wicked people because that's what it is for chosen ones. You got to be, you got to have the heart, okay, to know that a lot of people and things are temporary. A lot. There's a lot of people you're going to have to kick to the curb because that, that mask is going to drop. A lot of people wear masks. A lot of times you're, you're meeting people, representatives. You're, you're meeting people who they wish they could be. But the thing with fake people, they can't hold that mask for too long, baby. They can't. Us chosen ones, we're genuine. We're loving. We're kind. We have the attributes of God already in us because he chose us. So we don't got to fake nothing. It's not hard for us to be kind. That's why I ask myself, I wonder, I'm like, it, it costs you nothing to be kind. It's free 99 to be kind, but it makes sense now. They can't be kind because they're evil. They're wicked. They're, they're children of the devil. So actually, it costs them a lot. It costs them a bankroll and stack for them to try to be kind because they're actually nasty and demonic and evil underneath all of that. And miserable, sad. And those evil, disgusting ass Decepticons got to watch you get blessed all up and down their face. That's why both of them, like I said, the demonic, evil, witch, religious, fake, nasty thing, and the Decepticon. They was getting mad day after day. Still texting, calling me, but you could just tell they was so disgusting and mad. Because day after day, I'm getting blessed. I'm, 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 I'm on my social media. It's like, God, you showed out again. You answered another prayer, another prayer, another prayer. God be answering my prayers now, like left and right, left and right. They was big mad, big pissed. Because they probably like, here I am. I'm going to church every Sunday with their religious spirit. I'm I'm, you know, I'm 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 staying out of trouble. I'm doing whatever. But God ain't blessing me. But every time I turn around the line, Amber, she happy, she all happy and all that. She getting all her success, all her dreams coming true and all that. I'm mad, I'm pissed. That's such a low vibrational, disgusting, bum. Bottom of the barrel mentality. Bye. And I'm glad. And that's why I said they really hate when you have the chosen ones. But they don't even realize all the heartache, all the struggle, all the pain, all the crying nights, all the prayers, all the times when you wish you could have just took your life. All the times when you ask God, why did you even bring me here? Because I'm nothing like these people here. We're nothing like these disgusting people here. We don't fit in. That's why we're always being rejected. That's why we always treat the way we are about people. Always people being switched up. People being intimidated as soon as we walk in the goddamn room. Because they see that anointing. They see that blessing. And they piss because it ain't them. They, they want the blessings. They want to be chosen. But they don't want the pain that come along with it. They don't want, they don't want that strength. That, that how, how, how pain produces character. They don't want that. They, go, they want to skip that part. They just want the blessings. Like how you go around a Monopoly board and you skip past jail, you skip past gold, you just collect 200. That's what they want. Guess what? That ain't reality. They, they, don't, they, don't, they ain't ready for none of that. They ain't ready for none of that. None of that. They'd have go through all that. They would have put the dead one bullets in the chamber and pff, they would have been gone. But look at us chosen ones. We still here. We're still standing. We've been tried like gold, okay? Refined through that fire. and We're still here standing. God's favor been on our life. We supposed to been gone. It's, we we we've come through. We've come to near death experiences more than most people can even think of. And guess what? God said, "Nope, not mine. Nope, not mine." Like I said, I'm gonna be sharing my testimony with y'all at one point on this channel. I'm telling you, but it, it's still not time yet. God's saying not yet, but it's gonna get here. Y'all gonna be like, "What you? Yeah, me." 
And guess what? I still get on here. Laugh, joke, smile, hee hee ha ha. Because guess what? The joy of the Lord is my strength. Okay? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Okay? And even with me with these rants, me even saying that it brings peace to me. The joy of the Lord is your strength, chosen ones. Even through all of this, through the fake friends, through the fake family members, through the little to no support, through you feeling like, man, this life is just, this world is just getting worse. Guess what? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep going. God got you. God wouldn't have gave it to you if he didn't think you could handle it. And sometimes God gives us stuff that we can't handle so that we can rely on him more. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't lean on your own strength. We have God chosen ones. I'm going to close this out for now. And I'm going to be back with another video, okay? Sending love, peace, and light to every single last divine being that's watching. I love you all. God bless you. Keep your head high. The joy of the Lord is your strength. God's removing those fake, nasty people. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Y'all going to see me on here. Again, I talk about other things too because I am a mother. I'm a wife. I, I'm, I'm on a hair journey, you know, with my locks, you know, I'm not cutting my hair anymore. And I'm, and I'm reading, you know, I'm realizing that in the Bible too. When you grow your hair, God tells us not to cut our hair. There's wisdom atti attached to our hair. And I believe that. I highly believe that. Strongly believe that. But y'all going to see me along my journey. And again, God's word is here to stay. So even when I upload other videos, guess what, chosen ones? God's word is always going to be on my tongue. Even while I'm doing other things, if I come to y'all with hair videos, guess what? God's word is going to be on my tongue while I'm doing them hair videos. Because me and God, we're like this. I tried to run away from my calling, tried to run away from my gift. God said, uh-uh, don't be Jonah. Come on. Because if I have to, I'm going to open up that well. Get in the belly. Come on. <laughs> so, be safe, chosen ones. Remember, a lot of people are not who they say they are. So, you need to be asking God, like, on the regular. God, if anybody in my circle, anybody in my family, friends, whoever, if they're not for me, Lord God, remove them. If they are evil, get them far away from me. Far away from me. Because I told you, that demon being, I asked that God. I asked God that three times. Each time, God removed this thing further and further and further away. And I played dumb the whole time. Act like I didn't know. Oh, did I do something to you? You okay? Okay. I wanted to talk. Oh, you know, played it real dumb. Like I didn't know nothing. Oh, I knew. And guess what, chosen ones? You're going to know too. And when God removed them, amen. We don't cry. We don't cry over garbage. We don't cry over the fake Decepticons. Peace out, trash. Out with the old and with the new. With, with other chosen ones. The ones who will not be jealous of you or envious of you. We are building our tribe, okay? We are building that tribe because all we have is each other. A lot of people on this earth, they're the walking dead. They're brain dead. And the rest of them are Decepticons. So, chosen ones, all we got is each other. Don't cry over spill mid. Let the garbage take itself out because trust and believe. When you start praying in protection prayers, and I ain't did it in a while. But when you start praying in protection prayers, people going to start dropping like flies. Dropping like flies. Thank God. Thank God. Say in the comment section below. When God take out the trash, I'm not going back to check. I'm not crying. Thank God. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Comment all that down below, guys. We are in this together. I love you all. Again, I'm sending peace, love, and light to each and every last divine one of you. Star seeds, healers, and path chosen ones. I love you. I thank God for you. Peace, love, and light. Take care.